Hey there, Halo fans. This is Wesatron. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new uh, Halo 4 UNSC Warthog. This comes with uh, Master Chief and Marine figures, you can see here, and is made by Jada Toys. Um, I can't really see that. Made by Jada Toys. Now, when I first saw this in the uh, stores, I kind of overlooked it because I was thinking that this was the uh, McFarlane uh, mini line. And uh, it's not. This is a new line by Jada, and um, its uh, big draw is that it's die cast, and that the figures are actually articulated. So this looks pretty cool. I paid uh, $14.97 for this, I think, uh, about 15 bucks. I don't, I don't know the exact penny amount. Um, and I got it at my local Walmart. I haven't seen these as spread out, um, but definitely found it at Walmart. So let's get this guy open and see what we got. And we're back with a quick <laughs> further look at the packaging. As you can see, I have absolutely destroyed this packaging trying to get this thing out. And it only just occurred to me how this is built. Now, this is just help for you guys who decide to pick this up. You see these two little holes right here? These are actually screw holes. There are two screws going up into the bottom of the uh, Warthog here. You might be able to see that peg there and that peg there. They go all the way up in there. So, for one, you have to unscrew it to get out of package, which is kind of insane, but you also kind of need a longer screwdriver. If you don't have a very long one or a very narrow one, you're going to be in big trouble because, as you can see, this is a pretty small hole. Um, so, if you don't have one long enough, I was lucky that this one barely just fits in. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to get it out that way, but... Just so you guys know, should you decide to pick this up, you will have to do a little uh, unscrewing. And all you have to do is remember that righty tidy, lefty loosey. That's right. Good job, guys. Alright, guys, and as you can see, uh, this is the piece that goes into the bottom of the packaging that goes up into your car, which is really, really weird. I've never seen anything like that, but you see these two screw holes here? That's where it went into. Um, yeah, very strange, but whatever. Um... Okay, so now that we've got the Warthog out of package, let's take a look. Here we've got the uh, turret, and this is just the standard machine gun turret, the Gatling turret, minigun turret, whatever you want to call it. Um, it does have a little bit of a hinge there, but it doesn't look like it's holding positions. It just kind of wants to go back and forth, so I'm guessing that might loosen up if I was to mess with it, but I'm not really wanting to do that because I don't want to tear it up. Um, just a peg and a hole assembly. So you just basically pop this right in like that, and you've got your Warthog. So before we really take a good look at that, let's take a look at our little figures here. And I'm going to move camera a little closer. This guy's bad. How's that? Beautiful. We're going to start with this guy. This is the uh, driver. I'm getting to focus here. There we go. As you can see, he is incredibly detailed for uh, a figure this small. I mean, this is tiny. This is the size of um, a figure that comes with, like, your human alliance from uh, Hasbro, like your Transformers. Um, actually, I've got a Cobra Shock Trooper right here. So you can see, compared to a uh, G.I. Joe, how tiny this guy really is. I mean, he's, what, two inches tall? As uh, G.I. Joes are four now. So, yeah. Very, very detailed, very nicely painted too. Uh, kind of surprised how how well. Um, focus, there we go. Yeah, it looks really good. Like the details on the boots, all the way down, like you know, the paint on the boots. Great job, Jada. I really, really dig this. See, it's got a nice little head sculpt there. Now, as far as articulation, these guys are actually pretty good too. You know, they got the swivel in the head, ball jointed shoulders. They go all the way around. It's a little swivel hinge if you want to be accurate, I guess. Um, this one's a little hindered by the uh, shoulder armor here, so he'll only go out about that far. But realistically, it doesn't really need to go out very far. Uh, this one was a bit of a surprise for me. Um, he's actually got a swivel waist in here. There we go. Sorry, wanting to focus. Swivel waist. Uh, swivel hinge hips. So these are on like a V orientation, so they go up into his abdomen. So um, if you kind of turn it like that, it's a little weird. Um, it'll just it'll put his legs sideways, but it depends on how much that bothers you. Uh, and swivel hinge knees. 
So pretty nice articulation for the size. Uh, as I said, very similar to the um, Hasbro Human Alliance figures. Um, here we have our uh, Master Chief. Now, uh, he looks great, you know, great, uh, great design for the new game, you know, very different, um, which is neat, you know, I like to see, you know, things change a little, that's cool. Um, still trying to line up all his parts here. Um, same articulation as the, uh, driver or gunner, depending on how you see him. Focus. Um, you can see they decided to go for a yellow visor instead of the traditional gold, which isn't a big deal at this scale, I mean, as I said, these guys are tiny. Um, he's got a little better movement in his arms, but otherwise, uh, identical articulation to our driver here. Um, so yeah, he looks very nice too. Um, I did see some variations on the, uh, paint on the visor, so just keep an eye out for that if you decide to pick this up. So there's our figures. Now, the Warthog itself, it, this is pretty heavy for one. I mean, it is die cast, this whole midsection here. I mean, there's parts that probably aren't. Um, you know, obviously the gun is plastic, uh, the bottom of these things usually plastic, yeah, it's plastic, um, but a lot of it is, uh, die cast, very nice, very nice details, very nicely painted, you can see all this, the interior is all detailed, the grating on the floor of the machine gun turret, and this thing is very, very detailed, very nice looking. I like the tires. I always like these mud tires. Uh, now these are, they're soft, but I think they're plastic. They feel kind of like plastic, but they also have kind of a little bit of a rubbery quality. I mean, if you see when I press on it a little, see how it juts out? So this may be rubber, um, but if so, it's a very tough rubber or a very soft plastic. I don't know which one. Um, there's the uh, winch on the front and the two hooks that give it its name, the Warthog. Uh, so yeah, this thing is very detailed. It rolls quite nicely. There we go. Very good at rolling. Very nice. Um, I think this could stand up pretty well with some outdoor play, if um, if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> um, oh, this is cool. We've got some nice gas cans on the back here, um, which are, for some reason, articulated. I'm not crazy. There's actually movement in there. I don't know why. That's weird. Um, it could just be a piece that's like connected across. I don't know. That's strange. Uh, plastic antenna here. But yeah, very cool. Um, now we try, I haven't tried putting the drivers in it yet. He's got very stiff joint in his hips, so be careful with that. But see, I'm uh, personally a wheel man, so as Master Chief, I would be sitting in the front and have my buddy Mike on the back. He would be my gunner. So, let's put our gunner back here. And pull his arms in a little bit. And it actually holds up pretty good. I kind of thought that maybe he would wiggle around a little bit back there, but that's pretty sturdy, honestly. Very cool. And uh, Master Chief looks good up here in the driver's seat, too. You can see you can kind of... Because their shoulders kind of move in a little bit, you can kind of move his arms towards the uh, uh, steering wheel and his towards the handles on the minigun. Now, they, they don't actually have holes to clasp onto anything, um, but uh, I think it, you can approximate it pretty well. It looks really good. Um, yeah, I like this thing. Um, they've got a whole series of these. That they don't have very good advertisement on the back of the box to show you what else is available. Um, uh, but... Uh, they, they've got, let's see, uh, like a ghost, a banshee, I think they've got a, a hornet maybe, um, a mongoose set uh, that looks like they have maybe rocket launcher, am, or am I confusing that? I might be confusing that with the McFarlane. McFarlane is also making a small figure set like this, only I think they're smaller. Um, so I may be confusing some of this, but uh, if you are looking for die cast, high quality, uh, decently priced, um, Halo Miniatures, I think Jada Toys doing a pretty good job. This is pretty nice. I really, really like this. Um, got nice uh, articulation for the gun, for the wheels. I mean, there's not a whole lot you can ask for. Uh, the figures are nicely detailed, nicely painted, nicely articulated. I would give this, for the price of $15, I'd probably have to give this a 9. 
Um, it's very, very nicely done. I don't really have any complaints. Um, packaging could be a little better design, but for the most part, I really dig the way this looks. And uh, yeah, I'll probably be picking up some more Jada toys. I really, really enjoy these. And um, I, at the very least, have to get Mongoose because I love Rocket Race. So uh, yeah, uh, if I get any more, I will sure let you guys know. I'll post a review up here. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, put them in the uh, box below and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, did you know that this uh, toy set was coming? Did you know, um, are, are you sticking to McFarlane? Um, there's been a lot of people who've made uh, Halo miniatures all the way back to, um, who is it, who used to make them? Joyride used to make miniatures too. Um, so let me know what you think. Uh, is this the best uh, two-inch Master Chief you've ever seen? Or do you think maybe... McFarlane is winning out the uh, miniature war? Or do you go all the way back to Joyride? Did you like the Joyride figures? I only had a couple of those, so I can't really say much about them, but... Yeah, let me know what you think below. Make sure you check out InfiniteHollywood.com um, for more awesome reviews. Um, yeah, we love to talk about toys, so hit us up. Thanks, guys, and uh, have a good one.